Hi, I'm Jeff Bernstein, and I'm a professor of political science here at Eastern Michigan University. Um, I've been on the faculty since 1997, teaching courses in American politics, research methods, campaigns and elections, and public opinion. Um, very busy stuff these days. Um, Eastern Michigan University is the only university I've taught at, and I really love nothing more than um, being in a classroom and teaching my students and working with all of you while I'm there. Um, so welcome to my show, Tuesday Tea with Dr. B. I know you can't come visit our campus right now and see for yourself what a special place we are. So what I thought I would do is invite some of my friends from campus to come and talk a little bit about what they do and a little bit about the work that they do with our students. Um, you'll get to see how committed we are with, to our students and you'll get to see just how cool some of these folks really are. Um, we don't know what the fall semester is going to look like. There's a whole lot of stuff still up in the air, but my colleagues and I are really committed to making sure that whether we're on campus, whether we're doing it by distance, whether we're at a hybrid format, whatever we do, we're going to make it work and we're going to make it special. And if you have any questions, by the way, about Eastern, or if you just want to talk about what your time at Eastern could look like, um, my email address is on the screen. Please feel free to send me a note and I'd be happy to respond to you. So my guest today is Professor Doris Fields. Um, Professor Fields is a member of the Department of Communication, Media, and Theater Arts, and is also Director of Undergraduate Studies at Eastern Michigan University. Um, thanks for being with us today, Doris. Thank you and, so much for the invitation. Oh, right, and so let me start off with the first question. What does a Director of Undergraduate Studies do? Wow, <laughs> I do absolutely a lot behind the scenes. I first want to say that I am a true EMU alumni. Uh, I did my undergrad at EMU. I also did my master's degree at EMU. And uh, I began to teach in 1992. Oh, I'm aging myself. So I was a professor for several years and then I transitioned into administration. So my main priority in my position is I am a bridge between faculty and administration. Most of my tasks are focused on student success. So making sure that students succeed in the classroom, that students stay at EMU, and that uh, we work on graduation rates. My most two successful uh, initiatives are Gateway to Completion, which is a, uh, was a, we did it for three years, a retention program centered in the classroom. So we work with faculty as faculty change and redesign their courses to focus on the student success. So they noticed some students weren't doing well in some of their STEM courses. And so they redesign those courses to make sure that students were successful. And we've been very successful in that initiative. The other initiative that I work with is Foundations of Excellence Transfer Focus. And we did a one year, was actually going into a second year, uh, self-study of our transfer students. Because we wanted to find out if our, our transfer students were having a good experience at EMU. So we were looking at how they transferred over, we we're looking at their credits, we looked at financial aid. Uh, we looked at any barriers that prevented student success with transfer students and ways to find out if we could make the system a little bit better. Uh, I also work on Higher Learning Commission Student Success Team, where we have done an overview of campus and we uh, did surveys to students to find out what was important in student success and how they define student success. I think my biggest and my most proud uh, initiative is the Student Emergency Fund. The that's, Student yeah, Emergency that's, that's Fund. That's been so important these days. It is amazing. Uh, I, I always tell people that that's the best part of my job is helping students. And in this particular format, I get to help students who are in a need, uh, who have exhausted all of their financial aid and they need a little bit more assistance. And so students apply uh, for the funding of up to $750. And then a committee looks at that and makes uh, an approval or in some cases a denial. We just can't help everyone, but we sort through and try to help as many students as possible. So those are my most important initiatives that I work with is student success. And I, I know a lot of my colleagues and I have been very supportive and given money to the Student Emergency Fund because it's, 
we care very deeply about our students and we know that this is a hard time for so many. Um, so one of the ways that I have worked um, very closely with you and with your office has been on facilitating travel courses within the United States. Um, I do a political science course where I take a group of students to Washington for six days every year. And I also do a Jewish studies course um, every other year that goes to New York, to Philadelphia, and to Washington. Um, tell me what some of the um, exciting things are that you see about these domestic travel opportunities. I think U.S. travel is one of my favorite programs. I think it's important for students to be in the classroom, but I also think it's important for them to travel outside of that classroom and get a learning experience. Students have been to New York, they have been on a civil rights tour uh, across the southern states. We've also had a scuba diving course in Florida. Uh, we've also had theater courses along with your courses. And so the students are able to have experiences that take them out of what they've known. Mm -hmm. And I can see so much growth from those students when they come back on those trips, that they shift their perspective, they see how someone else lives, they see cultural icons and learning experiences that may not be available in the class, but being able to travel to somewhere, find out so how someone else lives, the importance of it in, in, uh, in the context to their particular courses is very significant. I, I know I, one of my favorite things is you just you feel the world so differently when you're in the spot where things happen. Um, I can talk all the time in class about, you know, Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech or Emma Lazarus's new Colossus poem. But when you're teaching it at the spot where King was standing doing the speech or when you are reading Emma Lazarus's new Colossus with the Statue of Liberty right behind you in New York Harbor, um, there's nothing quite like that experience as as a way to really get students to see the world differently than the world they grew up in. It's an opportunity to see a lot of growth from the students. Yeah. And you see them transition in that moment that they realize they are live at that space mm -hmm. and having that learning active really makes a difference for U.S. travel. It's, it's just, I, I love doing it. And um, for anybody thinking of joining us at EMU, um, Take a look at some of these U.S. travel courses. Um, we'll put the website here up on the screen for the U.S. travel courses and students can take a look at that and see what possibilities there are. Um, ready for a few fun lightning round questions? I think so. Right, let's have some fun. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> All right, throw out some questions. Apples or oranges? Oranges. Right. <laughs> Favorite spot to vacation? Anywhere with my family. It doesn't matter where we are as long as my husband and my two girls are with me. So anywhere my family is. Excellent. What is the coolest thing that you have in your office? Not that elephants. you're in your office much these days, <laughs> but you can I collect elephants and elephants represent good luck. So you have to have the trunk up mm -hmm. and uh, I surround myself with good luck wherever I go. That's awesome. We've, we've got a bunch of elephants here at our house as well. So who should play you in the movie about your life? That's a hard one. <laughs> uh, because I love Will Smith so much, I'm gonna say his wife, Jada Pinkett Smith. <laughs> awesome. All right, who should play me in the movie about my life? Hmm. Brad Pitt. Oh, I, I adore you. Thank you. <laughs> I had a teacher in high school, I mean years ago, who said I, she thought I was a dead ringer for Matthew Broderick. But I, I don't okay, know okay, so okay. Um, all right, favorite spot on EMU's campus? That's an easy one, the library. Really? That's my favorite spot, yes. Okay. I did, when I was a student, I spent a lot of my time in the library and it gave me a sense of peace. It also gave me a sense of accomplishment. And I knew that when everything else was chaos, I could go to the library and have those quiet moments and I could stay. That's really cool. Excellent. All right, one more question, one last question. What makes EMU special? I think for me, what makes EMU special is diversity. I think it's not just diversity in race and gender, but it's her sexual orientation. Uh, it's where you live, where you come from. And I've been at EMU for over 30 years. And 
it feels like a safe space for me. That people are always welcoming and kind and loving and supportive. And so I would say diversity is what makes it special. That's great, yeah. It, it, we are a very welcoming campus and we are a very friendly campus and we hope to be welcoming all of you to our campus or back to our campus whether that campus is on our physical campus or whether that campus is on Zoom screens, um, whatever the fall is going to be, we're really looking forward to it. We're really making forward to making it, looking forward to making it memorable. So, um, Doris Fields, thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, no, thank you. And welcome to, to EMU. <laughs> Always great to talk to you. And um, we'll see you next time on Tuesday Tea with Dr. B. Bye-bye.